Hello, fellow wrestling crusaders, and welcome to our latest episode. My name is Sean Waskrup, and as always, is Jordan JPO Owens. And today we're that's going to me. be going... Yes, that's you. <laughs> today we're going to be going over uh, AEW Revolution. It is this weekend, and we're going to go over the car. Revolution. Girl. Uh, <laughs> I don't know whose song would sing that, but they need to get Creed to do some song, especially after the Super Bowl. <laughs> Um, Creed, yeah, baby. Burr, baby. <laughs> but uh, we got nine matches on this card, unlike the uh, four matches plus one kickoff show for Elimination yeah. Chamber. AEW is um, like, four matches? We do that in the pre show, motherfuckers. That's Rampage. <laughs> we do that in an hour. Uh, that's one yeah. thing you can always rely on with AEW. You're going to get your money's worth and more for their pay per views. Um, but yeah, we got nine matches booked right now. Uh, and it's one of those things too. It's like we haven't had a pay per view since uh, Wrestle Dream, right? Was it Wrestle Dream in December? Ooh. Was it not Wrestle Dream? What was it? Oh, you? No. No. World's End, World's End happened. World's, World's End. End. World's End. Um, Show one. Yeah. Yeah, that was like right. That was like I think right before New Year's, or it was a. It was, that was a December, week. so they skipped. They skipped January. And they ended up skipping February, so we skipped two months. Yeah. So we've we've had time. Was, they did a and, lot towards the end. Yeah, and I was like, I was like looking, I was like. Man, they really haven't booked this show. And then I pull up this card. And I'm like, yes, they have. They've been booking the shit out of this show. We just, it just, they just haven't really been like, outside of like the the main and Sting. I feel like that they just haven't really been like, like the matches are all booked. But I feel like that I only I like if you ask me right now without looking at the card, I would know like maybe four matches. But now I'm looking. I'm like, oh yeah, that 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 that. So I feel like with. With Dynamite, Rampage, and Collision this week, they really got to do a push to get these a little more pumped elevated. Like, looking at this card, this, think, is, this is a great card. Other than, yeah, it's a great card. I think other than two of them, I think they're doing a decent job, better than others, actually, uh, of themselves, of uh, mm-hmm. pushing and advertising this. I think there's been some decent buildup. Women's match or whatnot. Yeah, I think, I think it's more or less just because it's been three months since the mm-hmm. last pay-per-view that they have been building these matches up. Um, now some of them do feel a little thrown together, which there are a couple that are, but if you're given, you, you have three mat, you have three shows now between now and revolution, they could just do one or two segments and boom, you're sold on it. Uh, obviously the, the big selling point, and they've been selling this since last fall was that this is the final, ma- uh, final match for sting tonight's supposed to be the final dynamite of sting, which Jordan doesn't like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> you, hold you, on, you know, hold on. Let me yeah, defend ahead, my stance this is, here. This is your soapbox. Hop on it. it I know is you. being advertised as Sting's final dynamite. So all I'm saying is he better that better mean he's going to wrestle tonight because then you could say obviously that's his final dynamite. No match. chance. I'm saying that's, no chance. But hold on, it. you let me. You let me. I'll let you finish. Show. I'm just saying. But if he if he doesn't, then he better never appear again. Because why is it his final dynamite? If you're never, unless you're gonna never, he does Sunday and he waves goodbye and you never see him on TV again. <laughs> then it would also make sense. I'm just saying I, otherwise. Why say it's his final? It's not his is, final. Then you appear at some point. This is the one match that I I feel like doesn't flow. And this is nothing against anyone involved in the match. Uh, Young Bucks have done really good trying to push this over the last few weeks. I just, if this is Sting's last match, this is not the last match I would want to see Sting in. What would you, if you're booking Sting's last match with the current roster, what would you, what would you have booked? Because I have, so I have the one match I would have put, I would have booked, but it wouldn't have been this. Well, what, what's your match? Because my hesitance there is, I agree with you on paper, this is not the match I envision. Because they've been building up to this match as in just the general Sting's last match for months now. We found out in, what, November? That Sting's mm-hmm. like February slash March revolution, I'm out. Yeah. Um, so it's been on their minds for months now at this point. I don't know who I would have done because I definitely would not have necessarily got bucks. But I don't know. I, I would have gone, I maybe would have just stayed with uh, Starks and, and Bill for this is what I would have done. I would have never had them drop the belts. I would. I think Ricky and Big Bill were doing really, really good as tag champs because we haven't seen them since they lost the belts. Technically, I don't yeah. think that. I, don't I, think I that wonder that. if they're done or not. Yeah. Yeah, I hope not. Cause I actually really like them as a duo. What I would have done, because one thing that has been happening that has not been working in the last six months, and, and let me finish for a second. This is going to sound like a dig, but it's not a dig. 
is Darby Allen. He hasn't been winning matches. He hasn't been winning. He hasn't been winning the big matches or anything. So I would have what I would have done is going into Sting's last match. Sting gets to pick his challenger. He wants to fight Darby, not because there's a feud. He's like, if I'm leaving, I need to get you to this point. And the only way I can get you to this point is to fight you in the ring and beat it into you and have this mentor mentee final thing. Like if I'm going to go out, I want to go out against my, my, my protege. I want to give Darby the, the best I can give out of Sting's last match. And I want to help elevate him and get him to the next level. And the only way I can do that is by being Sting and going out there and fighting Darby Allen. That's what I would have done. It's a mutual thing. It's not like a, I hate you or I'm turning on you. It's a if I'm going out, I have to go out against Darby. And that's that's a tough pitch though because again, just like most things, I'll say, who am I cheering then? You know, Darby? No, I want to cheer Sting cheer for, in his last match. You're cheering Sting because it's his last match, and you want to. You're watching him as the last match, but you're not going to cheer for Sting to beat Darby. You want Darby to win, right? So it's going to be cheer a, both a, a weird it's feeling. No, it's no different than when Sting and not Sting, when Ric Flair and Sean wrestled at WrestleMania. They put on a fantastic match at WrestleMania 24. You weren't rooting for Flair to beat True. Sean. You knew Sean was going to win, but you wanted the match to be entertaining and it's good. A, and went it's out a there fair and comparison. Cool. I also feel like Sting's a little more handicapped, so I kind of see a tag making sense. You're more handicapped than Flair? <laughs> at that point, yes. Because I don't think Sting could put if you go, on as if good you of a go match back, as Flair did one one. If you go back and watch that match, Sean is doing all the work, and that's nothing against Flair. That's nothing against Flair. But if we're talking right. about where Sting is at body wise compared to Flair was, at Rust- fucking sixteen years ago, damn, damn, sixteen years ago, really? <laughs> Shit, that was a long time ago. Um, I think that they could put on a great match. It doesn't have to be a twenty minute epic that AEW likes to give. But I think that Sting and Darby could put on a good match against each other, and it helps elevate Darby. The match ends, and Sting officially hands the torch to Darby. Because yeah, I don't hate it by any means. Because here's the thing, Sting, are you really gonna have Sting and Darby beat the Young Bucks? Because yeah, I don't they, know. They, they win, then the belt goes vacant, or Darby, I guess, picks another partner to to team with. I don't. No, like they probably either. just vacate it. I don't like that either. And, 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 but then like, do you young want, bucks I, I, I'm fine with the young bucks winning the belts, but do you also want the young bucks the way they're being built right now to beat sting and Darby? It's a weird, it's a weird match. And I don't like how it's formed because it's stings last match. That's why I feel like a Darby sting one-on-one would have worked better than what we're going to get with this. It's just, it feels off to me. It really does. And it's because I know that I know that that the Young Bucks can't work the same match they normally work because of Sting. It's either they're going to have to keep knocking Sting down in the corner and then work their regular match against Darby, which that's not a great final match for Sting. You want Sting to go out there and work shit, and but the Young Bucks can't work the same way that they work everybody else with with, with Sting. They just they just can't. Sting can't do that. It's going to have to be more of a fight in a brawl, which is what we've seen pretty much from Sting's matches. Yeah. It's just, this is the one match on the card, and I, like I said, I've been watching Sting since I fucking started. Well, not since I started watching wrestling. Sting wasn't around yet, but I've been watching Sting's entire career. Damn, Joe, you old. And I've I've been on I've been with I've been on shows with Sting because I'm a Nebraska guy, just like Sting is. And this is just not how I wanted Sting's final match to go. And I'm not I'm not gonna go that like movie, yeah. that movie fan thing where it's like. This is not how I wanted it, so I hate it. I'm, 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 I hope they go out and put on a great match. I will be excited to see it, and I'm going to be sad when Sting finally goes. Granted, I think Sting shouldn't be wrestling anymore. Anyway, I think Sting should have <laughs> been done a couple years ago. Sting shouldn't be going out there and doing a back suplex with Powerhouse Hobbs on through a table like he did a, like a couple like a month or so back. That was just idiotic. But Sting is fucking awesome, man. Sting, Sting is man. awesome. Sting is awesome. But I was like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> but. I just this is the one match on the card that I'm just kind of like meh on, and it's I don't want it to be because it is Sting's last match. But this is the last thing I, I'm definitely I love not that. meh. I think I just I'm not as peaked as I could be. I'm definitely yeah. way past meh though, but I'm definitely not I mean, as high as I want to be. 
And how could you not? I love the Young Bucks and I like Darby. It's just, I just, I feel like this is just so, this doesn't mesh well for me. It doesn't. Um, now, a match that I think is going to be great because of the people working it is, is Orange Cassidy against Roderick Strong. Um, I love Roderick. I've, I've loved Roderick, Roderick forever. He's such a great wrestler. And his, his, his always his big thing has been he's he's not been good on the mic, but this this MJF Adam Cole Yo, thing, check out early two thousands mid two thousands Roddy he is yeah. dreadful on the mic. Oh PWG Roddy when he was like uh, God Roddy you just like don't let him talk just don't let him no. talk just let him go out there and fuck people up. But he has got so much g- better. Generation next give the microphone to Shelly or Aries and let just strong be wrestled. Yes, yeah. and now with here you got Taven you got Bennett you got Cole. You got Wardlow. You don't need Roddy to talk. You need Roddy to go out there and do Roddy things. But Roddy has done but better. He's honestly, this is easily, and I enjoyed him as a wrestler, but that is the big holdback I've ever had from him is his just character and promo ability. This is easily the most entertaining he's ever been. Oh, absolutely. He's now flowing on every level because now I not only look forward to seeing him in the ring, I look forward to seeing him in backstage as well, which is something I never said before. When we were... When we were at Collision, uh, and he was sitting at ringside, so it was, it was uh, Orange against Commander. The whole crowd just kept going, Adam, Adam, Damn. the whole time. And I was just Come like, down. and I was just sitting there, and I was like, I'm so happy for Roddy right now. This is an oh, annoying yeah. chant, but this is because Roddy did this, and I'm so happy that Roddy. It's did because it. it works and it's enjoyable, and yeah. So yeah. I'm I'm pulling for him to win the title. I want. I love, I love so Cassidy. Bad. Mm-hmm. But I think Roddy's hot enough, and also too, I I think they need to build up this faction. You got Tame and Bennett with belts. Yes, let's make it strong. He's got a belt, so I'm I agree. definitely pulling for that. I want and it to be that long fun. Yeah, exactly. I want it to be fun, and I actually kind of liked when he dropped the belt to Mox, and you start you start to kind of see a darker orange. But then he won the belt back, and then he was just kind of back to being old orange. I wouldn't mind seeing Orange kind of go down a darker path when he loses this, and then he gets a rematch, and he still doesn't win it, and then he has to move on. Because this has been, for the most part, Orange's story for, what, a year and a half now, almost, with for the with this title? And he's de- he's, he's defended it greatly. Yeah. But we need, uh, I don't want to say new blood, but I think Roddy right now has earned the right to win this belt and, and actually just run with this especially with United Kingdom, um, it's going to be a great match. And I hope they go out there and kill it. And I hope it's not too interference heavy, but it probably will be because it's United Kingdom. But I want this match to be stellar. And I hope Roddy wins the belt. And and he just goes, I won! And just getting such yelling at his name out the whole time. Other than the brief um, John Moxley and then the even uh, also brief Phoenix excursion, yeah. um, Orange Cassidy has been this champion since since October of 2022, so he's been involved with this belt for over a calendar year. Yeah, I was so, saying, about, about a year yeah. and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, yeah, like I, I will say, we need we need some new blood. It's been great. Mm-hmm. It's going to go down as honestly maybe one of the best um, title runs in, the, in this last like five ten years. Actually, it's it's up there. Yeah. But yeah, I think it's time to crown a new champion. I think it's the right time to do it. Right guy to do it. Oh, absolutely, I agree. Now, you said you only knew of eight matches. I think this may be the match you don't know about um, because they announced it on Collision. It was like a blink and you miss it kind of a thing. Uh, I think, what what are they calling this match? Because they gave it an actual name. Um, Meet Madness Match. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's a triple threat, right? Yeah. Wardlow, Powerhouse Hobbs, and Lance Archer, which in my head, I'm asking, where the fuck's Brody King? Why not make this a four-way? Yeah. (laughs) Well, What's there to say about this match? These guys are just going to go out there and beat the ever living shit out of each other, and we're going to love it. I think Wardlow's obviously going to win because they're pushing Wardlow super hard. So I don't think Hobbs is going to win this. And Archer, I love Archer, and I love if they would push Archer, but they just never do. So clearly Wardlow's probably going to run through with this. But I just want this match to be fun. And, and yeah, entertaining. Yeah. I do think if they would add Brody to it, I think it would add an extra dynamic to the match because none of none of House of Black is on this show, which is a bummer to me. And mm-hmm. I think adding Brody would have just made this match even better. Um, but what are your yeah, thoughts uh, on the Meat Madness match? 
yeah, no, this is a, this is just a fun mid card matcher to have. Um, you know, hopefully it's one of the show stealers of the night. Um, it has the potential. Um, no matter what, Lance Archer's shaking the pinball. <laughs> if it stays a triple threat, probably, yes, Archer will definitely be the pinball. pinball. He's totally um, taking it. Yeah, this. It's funny. I remember laughing because um, he returned. This dude has returned to AEW so many times. He just he disappears, comes back. He gets like a nice high profile match. Sometimes a title shot even leaves, comes back, you know. Jake so. Jake just randomly shows up with him as well. You're like, oh yeah, Jake's still with no, him. Oh I shit, Jake's still around. Him. Yeah, no, legitimately yeah. your thoughts are like, oh yeah, that's a cool. I forget Jake's with him. Yes. Yeah, so I, I mean, see got, him all that often. He's got a great entrance song. Uh he looks great. I just don't know if it's it's because he doesn't want to be tied down to the company. I don't know what it is, but like I, 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 it doesn't make sense to me why Lance Archer has never had like a TNT title reign or something. Just give him something. I mean, he beat Moxley for the United States Championship in uh, New Japan. I mean, he's worthy of a belt in some form of capacity, whether it's for a few weeks or a couple months. Give Archer something. I, he's he's definitely marketable. He's entertaining. If if he wasn't, they wouldn't keep bringing his ass back. Um, but this should be a fun match. Um, and. Yeah, uh, and another match that if you might forget it, if if you didn't look at the roster, but it's still going to be a great match. TNT title, Christian, the best dad in the world, Cage, against Daniel Garcia. Um, this is going to be a good match. Yes, this, mm, 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 this, this match is going to be good. Daniel Garcia, to me, has become has elevated himself so much over the last few months. Uh, and I think it was because of working with FTR and uh, house of black. Um, Cause like he, when he was, when he was in, um, uh, Oh my God. Jer- 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 yeah. Yeah. Society. I was just like, okay, he's there, you know? And then they, they left it and it was just him and Matt Menard just kind of doing their thing. I was like, I don't really care. He's just the guy who goes out and dances and he doesn't do a whole lot. Um, but then he started doing the thing with FTR and House of Black. I was like, okay, you're showing me, you're showing me, you're showing me what you showed me when you were going against Danielson. And then we had the right. um, the Continental Classic, and he was he looked really good in he had there. A nice story there of kind yeah. of coming up of from that, just like Kingston in a way. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I, he's kind of a homegrown AEW guy, so it's been fun to see him go from like the unsigned. You know, jobber to you know getting signed to having those spurts of matches with Dan- Brian Danielson. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. to now with the kind of the classic. So yeah, I I think he takes the title too. I think there's another one. I think we see some Copeland interference, and I think we crown a new champ. Christian doesn't need the title to continue his feud with Copeland. Because I, I I want that feud to continue. I want I want Cage and Copeland to continue to work. But oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's not done. I don't think there needs to be a belt involved with that. Same thing no. with Rock Roman. We don't need a belt involved. Right. We need to watch these two go out there. And that match sells the itself. The TNT belt, Christian's done a great job as champ. He's been a great, I'm glad great he had it. champ. Yeah. But I feel like the story of him with the belt has kind of gone past its point, And we need to start doing more. With, with the belts here. It's like, we have all these belts. Cassie's had the belt for almost a year and a half. Uh, Joe's the newest champ, basically. And he's had it for since, you know, December. And it's outside of the tag team titles. I mean, it's just like, we need, we need to get some more storylines flowing with these titles outside of just the same thing. And I think Garcia, this would be a great moment for Garcia to take this title and, and, and build a young belt and, and let them go with it. Um, because now with Roddy potentially taking the um, – wow, I'm blinking on the title, Orange's Belt. International. Yeah, international. That's going to be tied up in storylines with them and potentially MJF when he comes back. We need something for the young bloods to go through, and this, this is that opportunity to get Garcia that belt. And then you can do stuff with Nick Wayne. You can do stuff with everyone else and, and really grow this belt and also elevate – Garcia even higher to potentially a, a title shot down the future for the AEW one. Uh, but this is going to be a good match regardless. I'm, I'm excited to see this. I don't see anywhere in this world where Copeland does not get interfered in this at some point. Like if Copeland doesn't show up, I'd be shocked. Uh, but anything with Christian, I'm going to watch because he's just one of the most fun heels to watch on TV right now. I think this will um, go down as, um, as Christian's MVP moment in his career. You know, because really? uh, I, I think so. I mean, you know, of course, he was involved in, you know, TLC back in the day and whatnot. But I think as far as character wise and everything, mm-hmm. this is what he's going to be remembered for is this run. 
Uh, next, we've got the uh, – granted, he, he'll be debuting tonight, um, at least promo-wise. We've got – saying debuting. He's been on the show a bunch. I, well, I mean, officially – he's officially a uh, uh, Will Ospreay will go against – He's uh, been on pay-per-view. Is debuting? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he's officially All Elite at this point. His contract um, debut, yeah. Yes. Uh, against uh, Kazuki – I, I always Kazuki. say his first name wrong. Konosuke. Yeah. Kanosuke Takeshka, um, th- this this match is going to be just a hard hit. This, if this isn't a match of the night, this this will be disappointing. Yeah. That's the thing is like every every match on here has the ability That's to be a match of the night. Yeah. That is why this this is a loaded card, yeah. <laughs> and it's it is that is true. Card. As far as like yeah, like I think actually like Christian Cage is going to see it might be the worst match of the night as far as prediction. Like match quality, and that might be a good, really good match. <laughs> and honestly, that that's not where my my match, my worst match is probably going to be Sting and Darby against the Young Bucks. Is is probably uh, true. I guess I'm going with memorable, and, memorable and wise, that, but yes, I don't. I, I don't think that's going to suck. I don't think I don't think it's going to suck. I think in terms of level no, of what every know. match is going, that's probably going to be the lowest one. But Osprey is fucking Will Osprey. I mean, I, I I watched his last two matches that he had against um. Uh, the cage match in New Japan that was that was great, but that was a, that was like a whole like nineteen ten men effort. That was a fun match. Um, he did great going out of New Japan, and then he is a uh, Rev Pro title match against uh is it Michael Okur Okur uh, Oku no. Oku. That match was fantastic. That those two are just it made me want to see him in in a uh, AEW and watch them wrestle each other because because I, I that, if if. Unless he wants to stay home, Oku will be signed by Impact or AEW soon. Yeah, eventually. It's, 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 it's he doesn't want to. I, I have no idea. Yeah, if he doesn't it's know. inevitable. It's just how long he decides he wants to. Um, yeah. But uh, Takeshka has has always been solid, and he just needs um, someone like we thought we were going to get it with Omega, but Omega. I don't know. I feel like they didn't. We wanted it to work so bad, but I don't even watching them. I don't feel like I don't feel like it was that moment yet. Um, Jericho did a solid job with him, but I feel like Osprey is going to bring something out of Takeshka. I feel like this match is going to be fantastic because um, a Osprey is not going to disappoint. He's going to come out of this and he's like, dude, you know, bro, this is my first match uh, officially AEW. I ain't going to go out there and shit the bed. So they're going to go out there and they're going to beat the crap out of each other. It's going to be a great match. Um, speaking of beating the crap out of each other, Eddie Kingston, Eddie Kingston, and Brian Danielson. We're gonna uh, see some some bloody chests. We're gonna oh. see some kicks. Yeah, as this one's gonna, I'm be gonna kick his match. fucking head in. We're totally. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love, I love when Brian is not a heel but just an asshole. That's my favorite. Brian is asshole Brian, and the way he is with Eddie. That's that's peak Brian Danielson for me. Um, I loved I loved it on Collision after he beat um, uh, June. Uh, he just walks over and flips off Kingston, and he gets slapped, and then just kicks him in the balls. Like that's my favorite kind of Brian. It's just like the overtly cocky, uh, just asshole. Not necessarily trying to be a bad guy because he's still Brian Danielson, but it's just like I don't fucking like you. Like no. you're a jackass. You are disrespectful. You're and pathetic, and I'm going to tell you why. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Then you got Eddie. Eddie's Eddie. You know, it's just it's going to be a fun match. Um, who do you have winning this? I, I think Eddie's still going to win. Think Eddie's going to get the handshake at the end. Yeah, I think give him a handshake. I think Danielson and um, I mean, again, I don't know if you can put him in another title feud, but like where you go with Danielson. But yeah, I, I just don't think you take that title off Kingston yet. I kind of want Brian to win it because I want Brian to have at least one belt before he leaves. Yeah, true. Uh, but, I'm um, against it. It's one of those outcomes of like whatever happens, I'll probably be pretty cool with. I agree. I agree. But they're gonna. Okay, I, I want to. I, I I'm gonna say this. I don't want it to come off bad. I just don't want Kingston winning with the backhand fist because I don't feel like it's a good finish. I feel like it's a good setup to a finisher. And like I, I didn't like it when he beat Moxley with it because like Moxley takes so much punishment that when he got the backhand fist, that's what did Moxley in. Like, come on. Yeah. Um, I just don't want if Danielson's gonna lose, don't lose to the backhand fist. Like, lose to like a small package or something. Just don't lose to the backhand fist. Um, once well, keep going into people beating the shit out of each other, which that's pretty much almost every match on this card. Uh, FTR 
against Moxley and Claudio. Uh, we got we got twenty minutes of them uh, last week, which you knew that was going. I to wish we, ball. I wish we had it though. It's my only yeah. problem. Like, if you're gonna do a big pay per view match with these two, it should have just been like six mans and eight mans. Or, well, it's or like we're gonna get that tonight. Balls. We're gonna we're getting a taste of that yeah, tonight. Yeah, too, too much. Even yeah. then, that's too much. I think. But I agree. Regardless, it'll be a great match. I just I just don't yeah. think that we're kind of getting it a lot already. <laughs> Yeah, because I kept waiting for a stipulation to be added to this match, yeah. like no DQ, tornado tag, something. Um, 30 minutes, yeah, I don't know. Exactly, or a, a, a 30 minute Iron Man, or best two out of three right. falls. I'm, 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 I'm waiting for something because I feel like we've already had a regular singles match. It ended in a draw. Yeah. We need something to spice this up. Um, either way, anything with FTR, I'm there for. Anything with Moxley and Claudio, I'm there for. Uh, I enjoyed the hell out of their match last week. I'm going to enjoy their six man tonight, and I'm going to enjoy the shit out of them beating yeah. the together on Saturday. It's going to be a good match. Um, that's going to yeah. be a great match. Uh, going to our last two matches on the card, we've got uh, Timeless Tony Storm against Deanna Perrazzo. Um, I, I I enjoy the hell out of Tony. I'm loving Tony, everything yeah. she's doing right now. Uh, Deanna, I knew of her. But I didn't really watch her much. I, I think like I, I watched her when she was like in the May Young Classic, and I didn't really watch her in TNA. Yeah, she's made her rounds. She was an NXT person, did a couple of Raw matches, yeah. May Young, and then had a long run in uh, TNA. But I've liked I've liked what she's done so far. I, I I've enjoyed what I've seen of her. I like where the story's going. Um, it's, it's a good story. I love I love Tony. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> Doing the over the tattoo, yes. Oh my god, tattoo on the tattoo. I'm like, oh, that's a brave move. That's I, that's great. And I even love that moment when they both got they both got in the ring and it looked like they were gonna kiss. And I was just like, what's going on here? <laughs> it's just like all this stuff. Like Tony can do no wrong for me right now, yeah. and I don't see her losing the match because I think eventually no, gonna, again too soon. The only re- the only reason I see her losing the match is if Mariah turns on Tony. Which I feel like I agree is too soon. We need that needs to grow a I little. Bit. We'll get melts more. Yeah. yeah. Um. But I. But those two are going to go out there and they're going to they're they're going to kill it. I. That match is going to be solid throughout. It's going to be hard. I just hope win. that Deanna doesn't go the way of like a Taya Valkyrie and other people that they brought in, even even Ember Moon, Athena, where it's like she comes in hot, gets a title match, and then kind of gets forgotten about. If Deanna loses, I hope she's at least still kept in. You know the, the picture of some sort. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing, though, is that we got this match, but on March 13th, we're probably getting Mercedes. So right. what I'm hoping for is when if Diana does lose, that she's not just going like you said, kind of fade into the distance. Yeah. I mean, and that's the thing too. Is you got to think about this. We haven't had Britt Baker in almost a year now. She's been gone. Is it she returning? I thought honestly, I didn't know she was her, but apparently she was. I thought she, because she she left when Adam broke his ankle, yeah. and I thought she was just taking time off to take care of Adam. And then I thought, you know, maybe she was part of the whole devil angle. But, um, but yeah, it was just apparently she hurt her back or something. But I mean, I, I think it was more or less not like she was straight up injured and she was out. I think she more or less was like, I'm gonna take some time to heal. And because they asked her, and she's like, I felt like that people need to miss me before I come back. She's like, I felt like people were kind of getting tired of me, and I just need I, I just need to kind of heal myself and maybe I know, I get that. Keep away for a little bit. You know, and then you also, like I so said, you also got um, Thunder Rosa. Like the women's title, the women's picture with Mercedes joining, they're grow- it, it's growing as well. Julia Hart, um, she's injured right now. Uh, but she, she's doing well. That explains it. I was about to say, what the fuck? Yeah, no, Julia's, Julia's hurt. In a while. Julia's oh, okay. hurt. Um, she's allowed to be out there, but I don't think she can work a match right now. Well, no, that makes sense because yeah, it's definitely been. I looked this up before. This is it's been well over a month, so yeah. I was wondering why. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because her Wheeler Yuta and uh, someone else. Her Wheeler Yuta and someone else. They're all hurt right now because they kept they kept uh, asking like, oh, where yeah, are Wheeler? What's that? I don't know about Wheeler. Yeah, Wheeler. That's why Wheeler hasn't been a part of any of this uh, Blackpool Combat Club because Wheeler's hurt. Um, but yeah, uh, so we, do we? Do you, do you have Tony winning it? Yeah, it's just it's just yeah. too early. I think Tony's. You know, again, nah, it's too early. Just like a Logan Paul. You know what I mean? In a different way, like it's too early to the title offer. If Deanna, if maybe this was a few months down the line, maybe, but not yet. 
And now we got our main event. We got Samoa Joe. We got uh, Hangman, potentially Hangman Adam Page. He's supposed to have a promo tonight because apparently it did look like he injured his ankle in the main event last week on Dynamite. There's, We've heard he's fine. We've heard he's broken his ankle. He's supposed to have some uh, interview tonight. We're supposed to find out what's going on. But as of right now, he is in the match as well as with Swerve Strickland. Um, I think for the most part, I feel like it's either Joe or Swerve winning. I feel like as much as I don't want Joe to lose (laughs) because Joe just got the belt, I want Joe to have a a decent reign. But how could you not pull the trigger on Swerve right now? What are your thoughts? I'm pretty much in the same boat here. Um, Yeah, I'm a big Joe fan. You know, Ring of Honor, his matches with Punk, because I've been a fan for a long time. And it's great that he held the title. I didn't think he was going to be one of those guys that ever got the title. You know, if he had told me, you know, him, Brian Danielson, and, like, Claudio, one of these three get the title, I would have said anyone. I would have said Joe was my third pick. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, So I'm happy to see him have it. But then there is, like, the logic of, like, well – was he even going to have it? You know what I mean? If, if MJF didn't and Matt's hurt. Matt's all banged up and shit, yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like MJF was going to keep that title till he evidently fought Cole or, you know, maybe would have maybe he would have feuded with Roddy first or whatever. Because mm-hmm. I feel like Joe was just like, hey, Joe's great enough. We'll get run with Joe for a little bit. We're ready for Swerve. You know, I think Swerve might have taken it even off of uh, MJF too. And meanwhile, who knows? Um, so, yeah, I think – if I got to go, I could see Joe retaining and just kind of keep it going a little bit longer. Maybe hit save Swerve till later. But I think I think Niles, just pull the trigger. <laughs> Let's not I be one of those companies that like, refuse to pull the trigger. I feel like if Swerve, because like I said, I don't want Joe to lose, but if, if you don't if you don't get yeah. a Swerve, then fucking win. When are you going to do it? Yeah. Why like, wait? Why wait? And chance like, like, I, I think, him losing any steam. Because I think unless unless they add a new pay per view, isn't the next one double or nothing? Nothing in May. Is not the next one. We'll, we'll see because it, it is, I believe. But at the same time, they they kind of randomly last year were like, oh here's Wrestle's Room, oh here's World's End. So yeah. I I wouldn't be surprised if they threw in another one by then. So, but yeah, yeah we'll see. as far as as far as for sure, it is May. Yeah, I do. I do April. think they're only skipping April when you think about it. Yeah, I do think. No matter what, Hangman's taking the pin. Much like, much like Archer, I I don't see Joe taking the pin. Um, I feel like it's going to be Hangman, especially now with this potential ankle injury. Whether he's in it still or not, or they're or they're playing this up as this is what's going to cost him the match at, right. at uh, Revolution is that Hangman is hurt. So if Joe wins or Swerve wins, it's Hangman that takes the L here. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Are we sure this is the main event? What would don't you dare Sting? tell me? No, God, no, don't let Sting mm-hmm. be the main event. No. But could you not see that being a possibility? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I do. I we did we did forget this one little one little nugget about Sting's match. Uh-huh. Um, Ric Flair. Yeah. There was that thing last week where pissed. Flair went mm-hmm. to the Young Bucks. Now it could be Flair playing. I'm gonna, you know, make everyone think I'm on the Young Bucks That's side. Why I'm sure. Double and, swerve. Yeah, I'm double swerve. with the Bucks. They yeah. wear, they're all wearing matching suits or some dumb shit, probably. And then Flair, low blows Matt or whatever, and wow. it's a double I, swerve. Let's put let's, okay. Let's okay. Here we go. I'll I'll play devil's advocate to your thing. If Sting is the main event, Joe wins. If Sting exactly. is not the main That's event, I'm saying. Swerve wins. Because you That's are not going to have Swerve win that belt, In and the then beginning have Sting the come on one. after. Yeah. yeah. If Joe's, yeah, if yeah. Joe wins, if, if if we if we're watching it and they're like, and here comes the triple threat match, and Sting has not come on yet, Joe's winning the match. Uh, that's a hundred percent. That's why I said, are we sure? Because I can, yeah. I completely agree with that logic. Swerve's not yeah. winning the title. He's so big. Like I yeah. could see a title change maybe with somebody else. Like, you know, let's say for some reason Joe and MJF was earlier on the card and because they had yeah. a, a reason for the main event, maybe. But for this, yeah, you save Swerve for the main event. Yeah, if he's that, walking that'll away. Be a, that'll be a damn good indicator of what the hell we're about to walk into. That's Doesn't what mean that's not going to be good or bad. Just means yeah. we kind of already know where we're going. And I can still see a world where Joe retains even with Sting, um, even if Joe's in the main event. There's still a possibility Joe retains. But if it's if it's Sting main eventing, then yeah, I agree. I think Joe's retaining but. And I'm not that, and we didn't. I didn't ask you on on these two matches. Uh, 
Osprey and Takeshka. I'm assuming you're Osprey's oh. one for you. Yeah, no, he's he's the brand new hot guy. There's no, I mean, unless you're not you really having a like, debut match there. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. his size debut debut sign match now. And uh, FTR and Moxley Claudio, who do you have won that? Oh, that one, that one could really go freaking either way. Who's the tag champs? Oh, it's it's Sting and Hidori. Um, I'll say FTR because they're the real team. You know what I mean? That's kind of my I, only thing. Is you go either way. That's well, that one's a true coin flip in my opinion. Yeah, that's that's kind of where my thought process is too. Is like under any circumstance, either team winning, I'm fine with. But okay. I feel like if you're, this is probably a number one contendership match. It really right, is. yeah. It's some things so, to slide into that, unless they're gonna, like you said, I do think there's a real possibility those titles get vacated and we end up with a tournament. I think that's a real possibility. Yeah, this is very well too. But I mean, FTR is one of those things where you want to give him. They want you want you always want them in the hunt in some form or fashion. If they lose this, granted they're in the trios hunt, um, but the trios right now is tied up in this you know bang bang scissor gang thing. So who knows if that's even gonna be a legitimate storyline now for the next few months because eventually you know, you know that bullet club's gonna attack and they're and they're gonna have this feud with both belts i i feel like that's what eventually is gonna happen with that um but yeah i feel i feel like ftr probably will get the win um i feel like either team they can afford the loss but in these kinds of matches i feel like moxley and claudio are more bulletproof to take the l here than ftr is yeah um, especially since group, Moxley can bounce back, and they're not a real like. Set and they're not a real, yeah, they're not a real tag unless team. So they can want to start doing that. Exactly. You know what exactly. I mean? Unless that is where they're pivoting. Like I said, I could see a world where Moxley Claudio win, and they're they're just simply the next the number one contenders. That's definitely mm-hmm. possible. Yeah, exactly. But anyway, uh, anything else you'd like to add before we end this about this card? I mean, this like this, on paper, this is a really fucking good card. This is, this is a great card, and, and not to compare AEW to WWE, but to give AEW a leg up in just at least one aspect. Mm-hmm. There's a lot more possibilities here. I liked Chamber a lot, to a degree, but everything pretty much went, like, if, if I was a betting man, I would have won every bet. Here, I'm not so sure. You know what I mean? I said Garcia, I could be wrong. I said Kingston, I could definitely be wrong. We're I both kind of iffy on Joe and Swirl, you know? like I think of this entire card... Of this entire card, there are only three matches that I think have a hundred percent this person's winning, and that is Tony and Perrazzo, Osprey and Takeshita, and, and Wardlow, Hobbs, and Archer. Oh, I, I could see maybe Hobbs, but yeah, likely Wardlow he's Wardlow because he's Wardlow because of how they're building him Hobbs with United Kingdom. Anyway. <laughs> I don't, I don't. If anything, it's like a ninety-five yeah. to five percent chance because Hobbs hasn't really doing anything to. Yeah, no, no, I, I agree. I, I forgot about that one. I didn't have yeah. that on my list, so I didn't even think of that as a third. Yeah, I those, I think yeah. those ones are hundred percent locks. Any, any of these others, it's a, it's a fifty to sixty forty yeah. percent toss up. Um, either way, though, Absolutely, uh, yeah. this, this is going to be a great card. Uh, this is going to be another fun AEW show. Yeah, this it's, has yeah. potential to be pay per view of the year, and they, I think, a past revolution was one of the best shows of the year. So, revolution has a decent track record. Yes, but we hope you guys enjoyed this. What were your guys' thoughts? Are you guys excited for this pay per view? Who you guys have winning in all these matches? Are you guys excited for as much as we are? Let us know in the comments below. Um, coming up next, I mean, we'll probably be talking about this uh, next week. Once we watch this, we'll probably have our reactions and yeah. aftermath of Revolution and see where we go from here. Uh, obviously, Road to WrestleMania still on its way. I'm sure we'll have many more videos talking about where we think we're going to go with this card that's ever changing. Um, but I hope you guys continue to watch us along the way. Uh, I am Sean Wassacrew. That is Jordan J.P.O. Owens. And until next hey. time, in case we don't see you, uh, don't try this at home unless it's on your little brother, but don't tell mom. Timmy. Uh, <laughs> don't hurt yourself like last time. So, goodbye. <laughs> and good night. Bye.